This video is my little contribution to Black History Month, just hoping on the awareness of the economic standing of the so-called Dark Continent. I have figures showing the top five African economies and their GDPs gross domestic product. And they indicate that the big five actually contribute to half the total GDP of the entire Africa. Quick intro, my name is Simon, man from Uganda. I've lived in London, United Kingdom. For over 20 years, I studied statistics at Makere University, Kampala. I've given most of my time to the trucking industry in this country and still love to get myself immersed in economics and current affairs. If that sounds interesting to you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it helps me out big time. Thanks to my current subscribers and old and new, your support is always much appreciated. Right, let's get straight in. In the end, I've got analysis of how the top people are doing it. Don't disappear from the video. Watch till the end, please. Thank you. I'll start from the bottom. 53 African economies. So at the bottom, we've got Sao Tom and Princip. Never heard of it, but there are only 200,000 people in their place and they're getting three quarter billion on their GDP. Next, we got Comoros Island. I know that's an island. And then 50, they, they're 1.4 billion. All right. They're only under 1 million as well in population. Up there is 50, Guinea Bissau, 2 billion. Seychelles is an island. Lesotho, the Gambia, bottom 10, and then we got Cabo Verde. All right, then we've got Central African Republic, Burundi is 45, it's a small country with 13 million, and East Africa. All right, 44 is Djibouti, 43 is Sierra Leone, and then Liberia, which has been always known for civil war liberia all right next up we've got estuatini that's a new country a okay, small new country they're only 1.2 in, in population 1 million and 200,000. south sudan neighbor to uganda they are at 11.1 million they're bottom 40 all right togo mauritania equatorial guinea malawi I got friends in Malawi in my WhatsApp group. 35 is Namibia, Somalia. Somalia has been known for civil war in Mogadishu. I don't know what happens nowadays. Are they a bit peaceful? But we got so many. Somalia is known to have all the, the was it the biggest number of refugees? Remember, for all those years, people have been leaving Somalia, coming to the West and all the other countries the big somali um, community even in britain uh, rwanda is our neighbor is that the country that the the britain wanted to send um refugees recently yeah they are in bottom 33 okay they're only 14 million and they are getting they're making 13.7 billion yeah republic of congo this is different from actual the Central Republic of Congo and this is Republic of Congo. I think this is the smaller one, 6.1 million people only. It's not the big one. Th then we got 30 Mauritius, Madagascar. We're going to the next ones in the 20s. Chad, Niger, Gabon, Benin, Botswana. Botswana is not far from South Africa. And then Mali, Burkina Faso, Mozambique, Guinea, Sudan okay zambia and zimbabwe zimbabwe always known about mugabe but we are impressed look they are on top 18 okay 16 million people not as many and then they are making they, they have gdp of 34.41 stay tuned to this video that i'm going to have the top five economies they are going to surprise you they are not what actually I thought personally. There is a country that's missing that I thought was among the best uh, three, but it's not even among the top five. So stay tuned to this video. Sub, uh, thumbs up, thumbs up as well. Give us a hand. All right. 
subscribe to give us a hand as well okay moving on to the next ones okay 17 we've got senegal we got libya one of uh, gaddafi i think they used to be a lot uh, more better than this all right cameroon tunisia uganda 48 million and they're making 40, 56 billions a year yeah, that's very surprising to be at number 13 surprising and very impressed okay next is it is drc that's the big congo no wonder if you see the uh, on the last column they have 102 million people that actually reminds me they are among the biggest populous um, countries okay the next ones uh, let me see ghana ghana is their small country but they're doing very well they're at number 11 Number 10 is Tanzania, number 9 is Cote d'Ivoire, Angola is number 8, little mentioned Angola but look they're doing right. Number 7 is Kenya, that's the country that I thought was in top 3, just being that I, I know it personally, I thought they were much better. But as compared to everyone else, they're at number 7, which is still a very good position, top 10 is very nice. All right, um, 104 billion Kenyans are making as GDP, and there are only 55.1 million. They are more than the Ugandans, their neighbors. Okay, Morocco number six. Okay, the next ones are going to be the top five. All right, top five, top powerhouses of Africa. Okay, hold tight, let's go. At number five, hold on, hold on, yeah. Number five, we've got Ethiopia. Number four, we've got Nigeria. And number three, we've got Algeria. Number two, we've got Egypt. And top of the lot is South Africa. Okay, South Africa, 60 million, and they have 373 billion per year. That is this, well, it is 2024. That is this year, that is that is this year these estimates we're gonna find out what is the source we're gonna find out um so the big five african economies south africa egypt algeria nigeria and ethiopia have a combined gdp of 1.4 trillion this block consists of five six nine million people or 44 percent of the country's population imagine of the continent's population five countries have almost half of the people not surprising that they are also producing almost half of the gdp okay south africa was, was well further than even the second one which is egypt all right nigeria is number four i always thought nigeria was number maybe two and i thought personally i thought kenya was number three but look, we don't know about Egypt. They're doing very nice. Egypt is a huge country. One of the, is it the biggest? Congo, Egypt, those are the biggest countries. So they can produce. Congo has got a lot of crisis. Well, civil war and that. No wonder they're not in the top. Because they have minerals. They have everything. They have land. They could have been at the top. What else? Algeria, how are these top five making it? There's a note about them, how they're doing it. It's right here. Stay with us. Of course, the big five differ economically from each other. South Africa. South Africa's financial and manufacturing sectors are robust. Its mining industry focused on platinum, group metals, gold, and chromium, contributing 8% GDP. Egypt benefits from the strategic control of the Suez Canal, generating significant revenue from its vital route there. Tourism, driven by rich history and culture, also play a role in its economy. Nigeria and Algeria both depend on the energy sector through their focus. Their focus varies. Algeria primarily exports natural gas, while Nigeria is a major crude oil exporter. In contrast, Ethiopia relies heavily on agriculture with coffee serving as a key export driver. There you have it. This is a report from the Bijo Capitalist. You can search it online for more details. I'm gonna love you and finish this video with these few minutes of your time with a and with a special request to smash the like button. It's free. 
yet it gives the YouTube algorithm a message to promote this work. And also feel free to add a comment below as well as share and subscribe to this fabulous channel. And so, stay safe and much love. Peace.